National Minimum Wage Amendment Bill 2024 into law. The law is renewable every three years. This follows the resolution between the government, the private sector and the organized labor on 70,000 Naira minimum wage. President Tinubu signed it at the State House in Abuja on Monday, days after the National Assembly passed the bill. The president signed the bill midway into the Federal Executive Council meeting. Head of Service Dr. Fulashade Yemi Esan said the new law will undoubtedly reassure the workers that the president cares about their welfare. Senate President Senator Gottlob Pabu led the National Assembly leaders to the signing ceremony. Yeah, good morning. How, how would you say this moment is? Well, I'm very, uh, I'm ecstatic. I'm excited about the Nigerian worker. And uh, the National Minimum Wage Amendment is for the whole nation, for the federal government, for the states, for the local governments, for the private sector, and even for individual employers. So I think this is a great day for the workers in the country. We are not only doubling the minimum wage, we have added something on top. Initially it was 30,000, now it is 70,000. Like I said, this is minimum. This is not maximum. Any employer that has a capacity can pay as much as you want. But no Nigerian worker will offer services and be paid anything less than 70,000 from today. That is the implication of this act. It applies all over the nation. And we're excited that this is happening at a time like this. Through President Bola Metunibu, the man who cares for the Nigerian workers. And you've seen what we are doing in the National Assembly. When he came, the entirety of the National Assembly moved and passed the bill in one day out of excitement. We felt that this was not something we could delay. So I think the workers are happy. So I want to use this opportunity to call on those who are attempting to foment trouble that it is, you have a right to protest. It's your fundamental right. It is there in the Constitution. But you don't have a right to destabilize the country. A right to protest should not be turned into a right to unleash violence. It's very clear that people who are already, it's already very amorphous, very faceless. So what it means is that people are preparing to loot and go around and do all sorts of things. Where we are today was not caused by one year's administration. It is the outcome of years of insecurity. Many people could not go to farms for almost 10 years and all that, and the president has risen to the occasion. Every food item that is coming in now will come in without anything like a, a res restriction. There's no restriction. Bringing food because Nigerians need to eat. And then at the same time, most things are coming in with a lot of waivers. So for me, I'm excited that, yes, indeed, the government is doing what it should. And we, the leaders in the National Assembly, we are touching our various constituencies. So my appeal to the Nigerian youth is do not allow any group to mislead you politically. People who probably did not have their fortunes in 2023 election are thinking they can come to the back door. That will amount to anarchy. Any destruction of any property will cost Nigeria money. And we don't have the money. Instead, let's put the money in developing you and de developing your environment instead of going to rebuild. So kudos to the Nigerian workers. And I'm excited and I congratulate Nigeria, I congratulate the President and the National Assembly for the expeditious passage of this bill. What about 